Overview to the Modifier Stack. In this lesson, we will discuss the Modifier Stack, which is right here. At present, it is not active because modifiers can only be used after object creation. So let's draw an object, say a box or a cylinder. Okay, let's go for a cylinder. Now, go to the Modifier tab, and this is the Modifier Stack. The Modifier Stack, or Stack, in 3ds Max contains the complete history of an object, from its creation parameters to all of the modifiers applied to it. Since we didn't apply any modifier, it's showing the object. So let's apply a modifier. Click on the modifier list. Once you click, you will get a long list of modifiers. It's really hard to find your required modifier. You can easily do it by pressing the first letter of the modifier. For example, here I want to apply a modifier called Tapper. So I just press T and see, here is your modifier. Click it and adjust the amount value. Let's try one more modifier like Bend. Select it from the modifier list and increase the angle value. So all your selected modifiers are stacked over your object. Finally, the object you started with will always appear at the bottom of the stack. The rest of the stack, from bottom to top, shows the modifiers applied to the object and the order in which you applied them. Modifiers can be dragged up and down the stack to change the order in which they affect your object. Modifiers can be renamed on the stack by right-clicking on them and selecting the Rename option. Modifiers can be deleted at any time by selecting them and then clicking on the trash can icon. Another useful tool is the Show End Result toggle, which is the second icon from the left in the image. This allows you to turn on and off various modifiers in the stack to see what changes they control for an object. Near to the Show End Result is Pin Stack. This locks the stack to the currently selected object so it remains with that object regardless of subsequent changes in selection. The entire modifier panel is locked to the current object as well. Configure Modifier Sets Click to display the pop-up Modifier Sets menu. Each selected modifier in the modifier stack has a light bulb icon to the left. If the bulb appears white, this means the modifier is applied to the object. But if the bulb appears gray, the modifier is turned off. Click to toggle the on-off state of the modifier. If you have observed here a plus symbol near to the selected modifier, that means the modifier has subcontrols such as gizmo and center. Click the plus symbol and the hierarchy will be opened. Now I'm sure you understand the modifier stack and all its controls. So try them all and use them in your work.